Steph's adaptation is more like a thriller than, a, than an old classic. She's dusted it off and she has been wild with her imagination and let herself really roam inside Ibsen's mind and what he's really trying to say here. The play's set over three different time periods. There's one which takes place in 1918, one which is in 1968, and one which is 2018, just last Christmas. Each of those moments has been um, an, an iconic moment in the journey for uh, women's liberation in some form. 1918 is the year of suffrage, it's the end of the First World War, it's uh, you know game-changing for, for women, that moment. 68 is obviously the year of um, abortion being legalised and uh, the pill coming into common usage, contraception, you know, these, these sort of historical moments that changed the way women could be in society. And very recently, of course, we're going through, you know, this Me Too movement. Um, we're reassessing how far feminism has come and how far it should continue to go. And what's amazing about what Steph's done is, is show us a window into three different women's lives at those three very particular times. I think it's also really galvanising, it's a, it's a call to arms, it's um, unashamedly asking of the audience, who do we want to be today, how do we want to treat our women, how do we want to see women in society, and it provokes us and plays with us in the most brilliant theatrical way. It's really empowering for female audiences to see female stories on stage, and that's really important. So I hope that lots of women come and see this play and recognise themselves or um, recognise people that they know or, in, or interrogate that for themselves. But I also think that women's stories are universal stories in the way that men's stories are universal stories. So I would hope that everybody who comes to see the play um, finds something in it for themselves. We're going to be jumping time, we're going to be jumping character, but we're going to be delivering the essence of a powerful and heartfelt story about love and loneliness and personal choice. Mm -hmm.